I have a Halloween horror story for you that involves a puffer, a puffer fish, pumpkin, and my Strudwick. So as you may know from last year, we like to do this pumpkin that has candy corn glue sticked to it. Candy corn's all over a pumpkin and it looks really cool and you can put it, the candy corn's flat or you can make them stick out and create a different look. I found this online years ago and I thought this was a great thing to do with the kids and I love it. So we decided to do it last year and we had a disaster where Strudwick got up on the table like a bunch of dumbasses. We left it there unfinished and he started to eat it, but we caught him in the act and got him away from our puffer fish pumpkin. Flash forward to this year. We're working on the puffer fish pumpkin. It's coming along but we have to take a break because it takes a few days. We put it away. We put it in the bar area of our house to which Strud does not have access because we are no longer as dumb as we used to be. He, there's a closed door, a sliding door that he can't open unless we're negligent and leave it a little bit open uh, between him and the pumpkin. So it's protected or so we think. Well, then suddenly last week, Strudwick started getting sick. He threw up after his breakfast. I gave him like a sensitive stomach dinner. He threw that up too. I'm like, uh oh, something's wrong. The next morning, threw up again. I said, he's got to go in, got to go to the vet. So they could take him, but they could only take him during the show. So enter Abigail Finan, who says, I will take him to the vet. She takes him to the vet. They say, we think Strudwick has a stomach obstruction. Something's in there. That's not supposed to be, an, oh God, what? They do an ultrasound. They got to get your permission. First they do x-rays, then they have to do an ultrasound. All I can see is the, the dollar signs in my eyeballs as the, the cash register's going up. How much is this visit gonna cost? But you know, I love my dog. So we get all the tests. All she can say is there's some massive amount of foreign material in his belly. Like, oh my God. He, got, he has to go to the animal hospital and they either need to do surgery or they need to give him an endoscopy. Abigail Finan takes Strudwick over. I'm still on the air with all of you while all this is happening. She takes him over to the animal hospital. They decide they might be able to get it with an endoscopy and um, they'll get back to me. $7,000 later, $7,000 later, they tell me that they got some stuff out of his stomach, but they actually think that he passed whatever was the obstruction while he was there. I'm like, well, what was it? Because originally I thought it was cabbage or that dried fall corn that you put in front of your house at this time of year to make it look folly and harvesty. So I was getting rid of all that. Abby took a picture of me later as I was cutting down the corn and I gave away the cabbage. I got rid of all of it so that he wouldn't have another $7,000 stomach obstruction. Only to find out later, that's not what came out of him. Sorry to be graphic, but it looked like little glue circles and some red wax. No one knew what that was. We thought the red wax, maybe it's from those baby bell cheeses. You ever eat those baby bell with the red wax? Maybe you got one of those and that was bothering. Then we went to work on the puffer fish pumpkin again. And guess what we saw? Little remnants of glue circles without their candy corns and huge swaths of the pumpkin that had already been completed, now naked without either their glue or their candy corn. And guess what else he ate? The wax red Halloween lips that were serving as the lips of the puffer fish pumpkin. That's what the red wax was. It was horrifying. So as it turns out, that stuff is not e easily digested, at least not by a dog. So now Strudwick has got a shaved belly. He's got a shaved paw from where they, you know, gave, gave his little IV. He's back on the eating trail again. He um, managed to get in and out of that kitchen in a way that nobody understood he could do. So that's a good red warning for the rest of us. And I'm happy to report to you that we did last night finally finish the puffer fish pumpkin. And I can safely say it is the most expensive puffer fish pumpkin in all of Connecticut. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Hope my kids do. Uh, I hope all the kids who come by trick or treating tonight do. And um, Godspeed, I do not recommend this for your family. Happy Halloween. Did you know that poor sleep can cause weight gain, mood issues, poor mental health, and lower productivity? Sleep is the foundation of our mental and physical health and performance in our days. Having a consistent nighttime routine is non-negotiable. Introducing Beam Dream. Love that, Beam Dream. Today, my listeners get a special discount on Beam Dream Powder, their best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Now available in delicious seasonal flavors like sea salt caramel and white chocolate peppermint. Better sleep has never tasted better. 
A recent clinical study revealed Dream helped 93% of users wake up feeling more refreshed. Just mix Beam Dream into hot water or milk, stir or froth, and enjoy before bedtime. If you want to try Beam's best-selling Dream Powder, take advantage of their biggest sale of the year and get up to 50% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash MK. Use code CYBER at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash MK. Use code CYBER for up to 50% off your order. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.